Hi everyone, welcome to Christchurch. In this video we're going to be hearing from the student perspectives on why they love studying at our college so much. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Matt, the Access and Schools Liaison Officer here at Christchurch. I also study Spanish and Linguistics at this college and absolutely loved my time living here. I'll be jumping in at points in the video to show you some of the parts of Christchurch which you'd normally see on an open day. Off we go. Hi everyone. My name is Sanskriti and I am a second year student at Christchurch and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what kind of things to think about when choosing a college and also why I love Christchurch so much. Now one of the major things to think about, even if you're not too bothered about which college you go to, is the location because it makes such a big difference to your daily life. Now Christchurch is located right at the heart of Oxford City, which means there's always a lot of hustle and bustle. There's a shopping mall not two minutes walk away. There are um, ice cream parlours, shops, restaurants, all really close by. And on top of that, nearly anything you want to get to is within a 15 minute walk. So it's also really convenient. Um, on top of the location of the college, another important thing to think about is the size. So Christchurch has absolutely massive grounds, which are also really stunning. And also attached to our college, we have a meadow with a river running through it. And it's an absolutely beautiful place to take a walk. Um, we have a college dog and me and my friends love to walk the dog in the meadow. And honestly, while you're in the meadow, you forget just how close you are to a city. Um, on top of the size um, of the college, it's important to think about the size of the year group. So in my year, in, in Christchurch, generally the intake is 125 students per year, which is actually quite a large year group, which I really like because it means there are a lot of new people to meet, a lot of different faces to see, but it's definitely worth thinking about whether you want a smaller year or a bigger year. So within that year, most of you will have students who are studying the same subject as you, and you'll get very close to these people because you have a lot of contact hours together, you have a lot in common, and you just spend a lot of time together. But one of the really great things about the collegiate system is that on top of the people from your subject, you also get to meet people from lots of different subjects. And a lot of my close friends are studying things very different to medicine, which I think is really nice and brings in a lot of diversity. So another thing to think about then is the accommodation. So at Christchurch, we're very lucky because we get accommodation for all, all the years of our degree. Now, someone studying, as someone studying a six year degree, this really takes off the pressure because house hunting can be quite stressful. And it's definitely worth thinking about and looking at because some colleges do offer accommodation for the full degree and others do not. Um, and on top of that, at Christchurch, the rooms are all really lovely and a lot of them are en suite as well, which is very nice. So moving on from the more general things to think about, one of the specific things to Christchurch is that we considered the Harry Potter College, and that is because some of Harry Potter was actually filmed at Christchurch. But on top of that, the great dining hall in which we can eat uh, all three meals every single day um, was actually the inspiration that the filmmakers used to model the great dining hall of Hogwarts. So as you can imagine, it's an absolutely lovely setting to eat dinner in. First up on our mini tour is Blue Ball Quad, our first year accommodation. Now, I know it might not be the most beautiful building in Christchurch, but it's a great place to live, so let's take a look inside. All the rooms are en suite, and each staircase has a tea point equipped with a microwave and toaster. Perfect for late night hot chocolate catch ups with your neighbours. Next, we're moving on to Petwater Quad. Not only does it hold the library, there's student accommodation here too. From second year onwards, you can have the opportunity to live in what we call a pec set. Pec sets are rooms where you have your own bedroom, but share a living room with a close friend. They're very social spaces. I lived in a pec set in my second year and absolutely loved it. Alternatively, you can live in off-site college-owned accommodation, like here in Liddell. As you can see, they even have a barbecue which students can use. Unfortunately, the hot dog onesies aren't included. Finally, here we are in Meadows Quad. This is a quieter space where finalists like to live. Some of the rooms have double beds, en suites, and even balconies, and a few of them even look out onto the meadow itself. Many of you, students, parents, carers, will have questions about the costs associated with studying at university. And the first thing to say about finance at Oxford is that the university offers a lot of financial support to students. It's actually one of the most generous 
financial support packages available to UK undergraduates. At the moment, about one in four of our UK or EU undergraduates receives a bursary from the university. Now, colleges are sometimes able to supplement this support from the university. And at Christchurch, we're very fortunate to be able to do that. What are the main costs involved in studying at university? Those would probably be your food and your accommodation. At Christchurch, both of these are heavily subsidised. For example, a three course dinner on a season ticket in our Christchurch dining hall costs under three pounds. And it's delicious as well, it's not just really affordable. Accommodation is the other main cost but Christchurch undergraduates can live in college-owned accommodation throughout their studies at Oxford. Why might they want to do that? Uh, well, not only is it really pretty, uh, but it also tends to be a lot more affordable than renting privately. Also, because Oxford terms are quite short, they're only two months long, it means that if students live in college accommodation, then they can pay rent for only about six months of the year, as opposed to for the full 12 months of the year. Depending on household income, UK students may also be eligible for maintenance subsidies of up to 50% on Christchurch accommodation and dinners. And that tends to be a very helpful uh, form of support for many of our undergraduates. Lots of you ask about opportunities to do work experience as well and that's something that's very important to our students. Uh, many of them are keen to do that over the holidays but at the same time we know that internships are sometimes not very well paid or sometimes they're not paid at all so how are you going to be able to afford rent? Um, we definitely don't want um, our students to miss out on these important career development opportunities. So for that reason, we've set up summer bursaries um, to help our students from lower income households with living costs while they're doing a summer internship, for example, or a lab placement or an academic course. So some of our grants and bursaries are available um, for students depending on their household income. Um, they are means tested and other ones are available to everyone, all our Christchurch students, regardless of their, their household income. For example, we have very generous book grants um, or travel grants so that you can go abroad during the holidays. We also have a language study grant in case you'd like to learn a new language or um, to continue to study a language that you might have studied um, at school. So you can do that at the language centre, even if you don't study modern languages. So there's a lot of financial support available from the university and from Christchurch to make sure that our students can make the most of their time here, not just in terms of um, their studies, but also in terms of their student life at Christchurch and at Oxford. So I lived in Blue Ball Quad for my first year um, and Matt showed us uh, this earlier. Um, and this is a real great space to meet people, to be social, to meet other freshers. Uh, before going to dinner, for example, or before a night out. And I think this is really important to build that sense of community that, that you need in your first year. Um, and this sense of community starts almost straight away when you meet your, your college parents, who are second years that act as a point of reference to answer any questions you may have on your course or about life at Oxford in general, um, or with whom you can just have a chat if you feel like it. Uh, you can get college married too um, and then in second year you'll be given your own uh, children to look after and to, to help support uh, through their first term and first year. Um, 
and that can get quite complicated when you suddenly realize that your best friend is your second cousin um, or your grandfather suddenly pops up halfway through term uh, but it's good fun it's good fun we have bops twice a term and these are fancy dress parties that uh, most people dress up for um, and most costumes are according to a theme. Not all, we've had some completely random costumes, but most people dress up according to a theme. Uh, and uh, we have students who DJ and it's uh, a, a good night. <laughs> it is a good night, it's good fun. Um, but that's not the only thing we have organized for us. Uh, our entertainment reps or ENTS reps um, organize things like karaoke or uh, bingo or quiz nights and uh, these are all good fun too. Um, we also have a sports day in the summer term. We have plays that are put on in the cathedral garden um, and these are organized by Christchurch students and these are all brilliant ways to get involved uh, in college. We have a really strong sense of community. We have lots of reps that are there to support students um, with anything that they uh, need support with. For example, we have a really strong LGBT community in college uh, and we've got great reps and the support network there is amazing. Um, there are lots of events organised throughout uh, the year and uh, a highlight of this is the Unity Dinner, which is put on by the LGBT rep um, and uh, you really feel supported through that and college in general is a really inclusive environment that uh, I think most people feel comfortable in. One of the best things about Christchurch is its academic resources. So we have an amazing college library which is open every day during term time from 8am to 1am. It's split into two wings and one of them is like kind of traditional dark panelled walls lots of comfy chairs and desks. It's a very kind of traditional old style library. The other wing is much more open. It's all like painted white, very airy and very bright. So it's really good because you kind of have those two different atmospheres to work in. Um, if you're a lawyer as well, you're extra lucky because you get a whole other library all to yourself in college, which is open 24 hours. Um, the College Library has an absolutely insane amount of books, so for the first two terms at Oxford I didn't have to go to a different library at all because everything I needed was right in college. Now to take you to some of our other buildings. First, let me show you the Junior Common Room, or JCR. During the day, students can come here to our cafe, Barry's. At the moment, we give one free cup of tea or coffee a day to every student, provided they bring an environmentally friendly cup or mug. We also hold welfare teas and late night tea breaks here every week. During the evenings, we hold student events in here, like the bops Tom was talking about earlier. Another social space is the Undy, our college bar. Here we've held a charity blind date night, a karaoke night and more. There's also a free jukebox with all the best songs on, as well as a pool table and darts board. So even a quiet night with your mates in the bar can be a lot of fun. Now let's move on to the Master's Garden. This is a beautiful space, used especially in the summer term. We've held ice cream parties here, stargazing nights, and when our tortoise Sampras comes out of hibernation, this is where we celebrate his waking up party. Students often go here during sunny days to work outside with friends, although soon everyone's put their textbooks down and is chatting away. It's far too lovely a space to do serious work. The other day, I saw Claire, our welfare coordinator with her dog, Layla. She's usually well trained, but we just couldn't get her to pose for a photo. Say, 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 say. <laughs> One of the great things about Christchurch is our brilliant welfare system. There is so much support for students' physical and mental wellbeing um, from our college counsellor, Karen, to our college nurse, Mitch, who's in multiple times a week. Uh, our welfare coordinator, Claire, uh, offers opportunities to bake cakes at her house or walk her dog, Layla, uh, to people who might be missing with a sort of home comfort while at uni. Um, I trained with a group of other students from college as a peer supporter 
which is a scheme run by the University Counselling Service. Um, it gave us skills in active listening and then we ran drop-in sessions um, throughout term so students could come and talk to us about any concerns that they're having. We hope you've enjoyed this video and fallen in love with Christchurch as much as I did when I started studying here. If you want to see more, then check out our website. It's www.chch.ox.ac.uk. Alternatively, if you have any questions and want to get in contact with us, then you can email us at access at chch.ox.ac.uk. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you at Christchurch soon.